thinking about last evening there was this small mud flat say about 4000 square feet and you had little ring flowers you had little stints godwits egrets there were even some bar headed geese that flew on flew off earlier you had godwits you had shovelers lost in their own world in their own thoughts foraging busy foraging so obviously the place was full of rich in food and i could just sit there and just observe and click pictures the 500 mm focal length helps you to stay further behind and get pictures of these birds but still occupy a decent percentage of the frame fill the frame with a decent amount or rather fill a decent amount of the frame with the birds the light was great everything was great there were even uh, stilts that are everywhere maybe we should go back there this evening <laughs> but no two days in nature are the same so I wonder anyway but it's a possibility it's something to consider back to doing my favorite thing photographing the small birds they are there bouncing around so let's get the exposure first spot metering on the grass it's one eight hundredth of a second at 5.6 400 ISO these are difficult pictures like I keep telling you but let's see what's in store Let's look at some of the lesser spoken about settings on the Nikon D500. The autofocus menu, AFC and AFS priority selection, focus. Now with this setting, I decide whether or not my camera should go ahead and take the picture even if the subject is not in focus when I click. Setting it to release means that the camera will click pictures even if the subject is not in focus. Whereas if I set the priority on focus, it'll get going only once the subject is in focus. I set both my AFC and AFS priority selection to focus. Focus tracking with lock on, delayed. I want it delayed as much as possible. I always have my autofocus area set to single point and I choose one of the 35 cross type points as per my composition and align the eye of the creature on that point. So I want my focus locked on the eye at all times. That's why I set the tracking sensitivity to delayed 4 or 5. That way if another bird or a tree or something else momentarily overlaps with my focus point, the focus will not shift from where I set it. Subject motion halfway between erratic and steady. Number of focus points, 55. If you read the specs of the D500, they'll tell you that this camera has 153 focus points and that 99 of them are cross type. But what you should know is that only 55 of those 153 points are selectable by the user and only 35 of those 55 are cross type points. Cross type points are able to focus more accurately than non-cross type points. You can rely on them to nail focus every single time, even in challenging conditions such as low light and when clicking pictures of birds in action. Store by orientation, focus point. That means I can select a different focus point when I'm holding my camera horizontally and a different focus point when it's vertical. So that way I don't have to readjust it when I switch from horizontal to vertical. We also have the option of focus point and AF area mode, but that's irrelevant when your AF area mode is set to single point. Within believes the activity over here has slowed down, it's taking us back to the 4000 square feet mud flat that I was just telling you about where we went last evening. It's 9.07 in the morning we still have a few minutes of decent light let's see what's in store for us over there it's amazing to spend a morning with birds or evening or afternoon the more time spent out in nature 
observing and photographing birds the more joy in life we should be there in another 2 minutes maybe less maybe a minute it's just beyond the trees that i see in the distance forgot my bean bag today no two days in nature are the same we were here in this area just about 3 days ago and i can't believe it's the same place that we've come back to because the activities today are so different from how it was just a few days ago there were no spotbill ducks here the other day today there were six spotbill ducks swimming around i've never really managed to get good photos of spotbill ducks so i hope i have something decent also got this pond heron no not a pond heron a grey heron swallowing a fish some open bills and a few record shots of the kingfisher which continues to elude us not giving us a clean shot just comes in it's a small common kingfisher very small so even with a 500 mm lens it's difficult to occupy a big part of the frame I hope you enjoyed those few minutes with me and learned something about bird photography. I'm Girish Menon. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on bird photography.